So this is a bolt remover if there is a bad climbing bolt and it has to be pulled out. Now there's a couple steps involved, but uh, what's really neat about this is you attach this to the bolt and you can just spin this and it'll extract it. Now I'll show you like the components of this in a minute, but we have our bolt buster table here. And uh, what I did is I installed a bolt in the ground and I put this on top, I've got a washer on here, an all thread thing, a funky hanger and a line scale in order to measure how much force this even generates. Um, it's just kind of nice to know when you're like pulling on stuff to see like how much force it's taking to actually remove the bolt. Now it's really important to score the wedge and the cone, the sleeve, all at the bottom of the hole uh, before you try to pull it up because I do think this is going to generate maybe 15 or 20 kilonewtons. And especially with 3 8 what happens is you end up stretching the bolt so much that you end up snapping the head off, leaving the stud inside the hole and you can't reuse the hole, which that's the goal if you're trying to remove the bolt. So what you do is you end up spinning it with a drill or a hand thing in order to um, cut a groove between that sleeve and the cone at the bottom in order for them to come up together. That way they don't engage. Now I didn't attach normal tool bolt obviously because I'm trying to just pull up on it and uh, this is a long wedge bolt in this limestone. And we have the quick link to the soft shackle, to the line scale, to a soft shackle, to a bonier, really awesome hanger, to a coupler, to an all thread. And I'll show you what's in there in a minute. Crushing rocks. What are we at? 8.5. At 8.5, I'm still able to move this pretty well. That's a full another turn. It's 11.5. Was one full turn. Fourteen point six. Go bolt. Seventeen. Now this isn't always going to be your results because the hanger's stretching. You're not going to have this attached to a hanger. Twenty. Oh my god. And I can still turn it. Eighteen is the MBS of that rock. Uh, Alright, we're at twenty-one again. Ah! Go check out the bolt down there. Put on point one. Film it from this side. Film it from right here. Mm -hmm. Give me your coffee. I need you to do that. Right? That bolt is coming out. And I'm getting, I got what, 21? Thing wants to unspin on me. But nope. Twenty twenty two, I think, was our peak. Let's uh, let's go peak. I woke up fifteen minutes ago, and now I'm like really awake. My heart's going. Hold on, <laughs> twenty three point eight two. Uh, I don't really want to take this much higher at 30. The screen stops working. But, wow, the looks like the hanger came off. Nope. It did exactly what I was saying. It uh, stretched the bolt and broke it. Well, that's impressive. I believe Fix sells these now. Um, Greg German uh, made them. And he, I think, shares what components are in this. Bobby has tried to make his own. Um, it's kind of hard to get the thrust washers to like, basically to get this thing to spin under a lot of pressure. But this thing has actually really been 
really been great. So let's unscrew this all thread. So this is a coupler, which is just a tall nut with uh, female ends on both sides. And this is what the Yabber has, the yet another bolt remover. Let's stick this out here. Has that in there, so it um, doesn't. So if it's all the way out, see it wants to spin. So it has a nut right there. If it's not engaged, it spins. But if I can get it to stay, then it just pulls and extracts. Half inch by 20, that's fine thread. And I happen to have this coupler here that was fine thread on one side and coarse thread on the other, and that's how I was able to get the, the all thread on there. So you would just get a coupler that would match the bolt you're trying to take out. So you can go from half inch to three eighths or whatever. But you definitely want to score stuff. You don't want to snap the bolts and leave it in the hole. But this is a great tool if you're trying to remove stuff. This is a little bit arched and that helps if you have uneven rock. And there's a little clip here so you don't drop your tool in case you're doing this in the vertical world. And this unscrews so it packs down really well. So. That's just a quick video on how strong one of these are. The whole Bolting Bible has how to remove bolts and more tools that you could even use. But um, I've been wanting to do this test for a while and we were out here at this mine testing a whole bunch of bolts out of the Bolt Buster table. So there you go. Thanks for watching.